they call me. Thank you for your presence in this place. God, we thank you. Oh, God, that even though you sit high and look low, you also don't find a robbery to come down and dwell in our midst when the praises go up. Oh, God, you come closer so that you can hear. God, we thank you for your presence yes. in this place. Now move to suit your purpose and your pleasure. You know what your children have need of in the visual so, Lord God, use me as a vessel to speak your word. Let it come forth with your power and your anointing, Lord God, to accomplish what you desire in the lives of your children, gathered here physically or virtually, even though know, that might watch it later on you to God. Use me. Woo. In Jesus' name, God, I pray. I ask you, move me out of the way and bless those gathered. Yeah. By your power in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 To God be the glory. The text is already read in your hearing again. You know, we really don't hear and absorb the majority of things in any setting. It's good practice to write it down. It's good practice to go back home and to review some things. Amen. Amen. In other words, don't be like the one that the that God soaked the word when it fell on the hard ground. It fell on the ground where the cares of this world, you know, trapped him on your way back, robbed and snatched everything God planted in you right on out of you. Now you need to write it down and go back and review. And so again, the text came from Romans. The 16th chapter, verses 25 to 27. And I'm going to lift up my focal verse, which is verse 25a and verse 27, which reads, Now to God, who, who is able to strengthen you according to my gospel and the proclamation of Jesus Christ, to the only wise God in Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory forever. Amen. Amen. And for our focus this morning, you know, God is so good. I, I thank God for a praying choir. Hallelujah. For a, 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 a vocal verse, I'm going to speak from the topic God deserves the glory. Amen. Amen. God Amen. deserves the praise. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praising my Savior all the day long. Amen. Sometimes we get it twisted. We're just looking for what God can do for us. And God will do for you. Amen. But guess what? A proper response ought to be the reminder and the reality that God deserves the praise. Yes, and every time we come into the house, if we don't hear our song and we catch a little attitude or we can't truly just abandon and praise the Lord God, who are you here for? Amen. It's not but for the living God. Amen. Amen. You didn't come here to see me. You didn't come here to see the choir. You didn't come here to see the family. Thank you. Do you understand? God wants to strengthen you. Yes. 
Yes. Do you understand that God does not want us to live by our strength? Yes. Our strength is yes. has a limit. Yes. Amen. Our strength is, is not a abundant. Yes. Our strength, it, it cannot even stand. We get tired and we get weary. Half the reason why we have we are grumbling is because we're trying to do things by our own power. And the word of God says, not by your power, not by your strength, not by your might, but by the strength. Maybe you're experiencing a, a, a weakness. Maybe you recently got diagnosed with something and it shook you and it made you a little tired and it made you a little weary and it made you a little distressed. Maybe you're dealing with something on the job. Maybe even now you're smiling on the outside, but on the inside you feel lonely and all alone. On the inside you're anxious. On the inside you're fretful. Well, guess what? The point of this passage is for God. To remind us that he is able to strengthen us. He's able to strengthen us. So even on our bad days, we can stand firm in our faith. Even when we go through us, uh, the manifold vicissitudes of life, we can still stand. So what gives you the ability to stand? Paul's not going to leave you hanging out there. He says, now God who is able to strengthen you according to my gospel and the proclamation of Jesus Christ. The gospel, my brothers and sisters, means good news. What is the good news? That there is a God who made you, amen? There is a God who knows your name. There is a God who knows everything about you. There is a God that loves you and even died for you. That's good news. And now for those who travel with us through Romans or you've been here on a Sunday morning, you all we need to do is take a look at the book of Romans, primarily in chapter 8, where we could re renew, review the good news of Jesus. It says, therefore, since we have been declared righteous by faith, we have peace with God. That's Romans 5 and 1. You know what it means to have peace with God? That means you can boldly enter into his throne room so that you might find relief. You might find help. You might find forgiveness. You might find mercy. Romans 8 and 1 says, there is now no condemnation for those that are in Christ that means you no longer have to live life with your head bowed bow down. You can live life standing straight up because God has covered you. God is not condemning you. God loves you. So even when we did do the thing, we can ask God for forgiveness and get up and keep it moving because there is now no condemnation. In other words, I don't need to go around having pity parties to set me up my strength and my ability to have because now there is no condemnation. Romans 8, 16 reminds us we are children of God and children heirs. Heirs of God and fellow heirs with Christ. My God, you know what that means to be a child of God, a fellow heir with God? That means that everything that Jesus has, God will offer it unto you because you are now a co heir with Christ. That's why you have the authority over the snakes and serpent and every, uh, every little thing. Nor height, nor depth, nor any created thing. We'll be able to separate us. 
day 28, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We don't know what to pray for, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us. Romans 8 37. Now, in all things, we are more than conquerors through Him who loves us. These assurances can provide encouragement and strength as we confront everyday reality of living in a sin sick, depraved world. You can just look into the good news of Jesus Christ and know that.
Do we go about our day and give God a doxology? I know we do it in the house of God sometimes. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above the heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. But have you ever walked through life? Praise God. From whom all blessings flow. Praise God who watches over me. Praise God who even the angelic beings have to bow down and give you the You understand that all the angelic beings stop to bow down and give God the glory. And we who we he created, he who he made a way of escape that we might be with him in paradise forever. He who cleaned us up, he who grant us our heart desires, find it difficult to give God praise with the fruit of our lips. See, you can't just sing the doxology silently. <laughs> But you've got to also open up your mouth and give God the praise. You wonder why oftentimes I stop while I'm singing. I say, come on, come on. Because soon we stop and reverence God. You want to know how many things shift when your focus shifts. God did all that through moments. He deserves the glory. He deserves the praise. He deserves the moments that we stop and just magnify his name. Yes, yes. What I want to do is take a moment, man. And I want everybody who loves God. From the fruit of your own lips. Thank you, Lord. Worship God. I just right. I give him the glory. Give him the splendor. Give him the praise. Give him the adoration.
Lord. Hallelujah. And all the more praise to God. Thank you. Thank you. Sometimes it's fair and praise God from whom all blessings flow. For the glory of poetry and renown and again causes yeah. you to stop yeah. and take a moment and remember yeah. the God you serve. Yeah. If God is for you, who or what can be a gift? Yeah. All the heads and bows and worship you. Yeah. Ooh, you created yeah. something out of nothing. Thank you. Take the time to give yes. out the doxology yes. of praise. Yes. You can make your own up. It's just awful. Yes. Praise the Lord. Ship sinks. Yes. Helps to regulate yes. your mind in the yes. midst of the storm. Yes. 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 Gives glory. Yes. God the glory. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. God be the glory. Yes. God be the glory. One of you struggled all week long and you don't know that Jesus that was so he wants to strengthen you. He wants to pour into you. But first, he wants to save you. If there's one here or in the chat of the raging, and if there's one and you don't have a church home, a place where you can do what the word says, or take not the assembly of the saints together in one place, we get our strength from one another. None of us are perfect. We might step on toes every now and again, but we come to worship the living God together. It's in this place that we get re-energized to go out into the world and continue yes. to give lives and live lives and worship the yes. living God. Yes. Hallelujah. Huh, yeah, you can worship God on your own, but you know when you get a little weak, there's no one there to lift your hand in praise. Yes. When you come into the building, then there's going to be praise yes. to break the things that try yes. to keep you out. We offer battles to talk it to you. And if all hearts and minds are here, let us prepare to 